So I have no experience in a jib crane, but this guy does. And we are at Wallace Studios today, talking to you about my first experience using and setting up a jib crane. We got the Camvate system here, and we got Scott, who's the master of the jib crane, as well as sound. And we got Eric here, who's standing by to monitor and focus pull. So we're just gonna have a little bit of fun and see what a jib crane is all about. Take her away. So this is the Cam 8 Traveler. It's an 18 foot crane. It's extendable to 18 feet. So there's different lengths that you can get. Has the benefit of being a little bit more portable than a Jimmy Jib. Uh, not quite as long, but it'll do a lot of great shots within the length available. Uh, fully mobile head. Uh, it's a beautiful rig. So how, how do you uh, control the rig uh, here, Scott? So there's a dual access control surface here. Tilts and pants. And then the rig is just perfectly balanced. Weights here for maneuvering it. Solid base. This uh, Cam 8 is great for mid-level shows that want a solution that's more portable, uh, easier to move around, and uh, also better value. There is several points of axis, forward and back, and also with the plane, you use a level to get this nice and flat. Mm -hmm. and Ideally, when you have a camera on like this, you want it to stall front and stall back or up. That way the servos don't have to bias forward or back when they're operating the rig. And how far can the rig extend if you uh, put the extension arm on? 18 feet uh, for this length. Uh, you can get more length than a Jimmy Jib, but the benefit of this is it's more portable, uh, easier to move around, and also better value. So today we're shooting on a Z-Cam E2S6. And now this camera is my go-to uh, work camera and Scott also utilizes the Z-Cam E2S6 as well. It is a great camera for all things cinematic uh, if you're looking to do any commercial work or film work. And we have this attached, as you can see right there, utilizing a, a very Frankenstein system because we didn't have a proper base plate yet because this is the first time we've done this. However, we were using a Tilt-A-Nucleus uh, Nano or Mini, and that uses us the ability for being able to focus pull uh, through remote connection to controlling it on your phone. So the great thing about the Z-Cam is that for first time setup, you can utilize the Z-Cam app to be able to control your camera remotely as we have a Wi-Fi connection built into the Z-Cam itself. So the best thing about this setup for the first time is that we can try this out in this awesome studio using our phones and using a very simple focus throw. So this is the tilted nucleus. Uh, the other side is attached to the lens, of course, and uh, it's been awesome. And uh, it's pretty accurate with the focusing. And this is really good. It has a, a very strong uh, connection to the Wi-Fi. has a wooden uh, handle here on the side for the focus throw. And the Nucleus is a good option because price point is affordable. And action. So this jib crane belongs to this man right here. So yeah, I'm investing in this new piece of gear for projects. Um, I do location sound and I also offer this as a service. It's sub rentable to uh, anyone that wishes to use it for a project. You can bring it out and set it up and uh, your key grip or op can operate it. I can operate it. I'm trained on it. I have roughly 20 hours of operating experience to date. Nice. So essentially, jib cranes can be used for all sorts of things. They can be used for car commercials, they can be used for features, music videos, short films, feature films, documentaries, you name it. Indoors and outdoors, they provide that essentially aerial perspective that you get kind of from a drone, but in a more controlled manner. So I hope you found this video interesting and different from the usual content we have. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button below, and we will catch you on the next video, maybe using a jib crane. Ciao.